There's a, a slight alcoholic note in there. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today we have a big, grand American whiskey bottle. And this time we have some different words on there. And the American whiskey laws are pretty, pretty strict what you're allowed to write on your bottle. We have Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey on there. That has a lot of yeah, regulations behind it, what you have to do to be able to write Kentucky straight whiskey on there. But I've talked about this in previous videos before. And this time we have something uh, on there and that is bonded. Hmm, what does bonded mean? And here, bottled in bond with accordan uh, in accordance with old granddad himself and the US government. So, okay, hmm, bonded. So there's something going on behind that. And I opened up the, the ATF side again, the American Tobacco Firearms, which is a, a whole department in the US. And they have the Title 27, Chapter 1, Subchapter A, Part 5, which is Paragraph 5. Prohibited Practices. The words bond, bonded, bottled in bond, aged in bond, or phrases containing these synonymous terms shall not be used on any label as part of the brand name or domestic distilled spirits unless the uh, distilled spirits are composed of the same kind of spirit produced from the same class of materials. So it's not allowed to be any kind of blend or, yeah, the same kind of spirit produced from the same class of material. So you're not allowed to, to do that thing where, like for roses, where they have different mash bills, that would not be allowed. So, produced in the same distilling season by the same distiller at, mm, by the same distiller, at the same distillery. So, they only allowed to use one distillery, one distiller, apparently, and one season. So this comes all from the same season. Store for at least four years in wooden containers. Sure, yeah. It's bourbon, so yeah. Must be at least two years for the bourbon, and now four years for the bonded. Where, wherein these spirits have been in contact with the wood surface, except for gin uh, and vodka, which must be stored for at least four years in wooden containers coated or lined with paraffin or other substances, which will prelude contact of the spirit with the so wooden surface. Number four, unaltered from the original condition or character by the addition or subtraction of any substances other than filtration. So it may be chill filtered, but not colored. Uh, uh, other than filtration, chill proving, you're allowed to increase the uh, ABVs or the proof by chill proving or other physical treatments which do not involve the addition of any substance which will remain incorporated in the finished product or result in any change in class or type. Yeah, kind of useless because it's bourbon anyway. But for vodka and other stuff that would be allowed in with a bonded nut. Reduced in proof by the addition of pure water only to 100 degrees of proof. 100 proof, so. It's not allowed to be less than 100 proof. Bottles at 100 degrees of proof. Uh, you have to have 100 proof. So these are the regulations beh behind bonded. Not quite sure what the improvement is here because you know now that 50% or 100 proof, but you could do have that with just reading the 100 proof. And guess what? The, the best thing is it's distilled in the same season. So we know it's... Uh, kind of a, I would say single, it's not single barrel, but yeah, vintage whiskey. Unfortunately, they don't write the vintage in there, but they say high rye mash bill. Interesting. So we, we're expecting a more of a, a stronger character with 50%, we, we're looking at an intense, strong flavor. Looked it up, it is chill filtered. There's not allowed to be any coloring in there. And according to the law, it must be above four years old. So that's the American laws with bonded bottles. 
Okay. This easy to rip off thing is not that easy to open. Come on. Oh, plastic cork. They don't even make it. Don't, they don't even try to make it look like cork. But I'm fine with plastic. There's a, a slight alcoholic note in there. Like you really do do smell the the rye from there. It's a it's a a fresh note. A lime note. It's not that sweet. I, I would have expected to be more of a a typical bourbon character. But as it says, high mash, high rye mash bill, we expect more of a, a spiciness. Mmm. 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 Intense flavor. Mmm. Strong spiciness. A little chili catch. Mmm. Tingly feeling in your mouth with a with a hundred proof, mm. but now here comes the, the typical bourbon character: sweet, a bit sticky in the mouth, caramel, vanilla, mm. but a bit spiciness. And uh, now on the finish, we have a good good wood character. So as a, I would have expected this in the blind tasting. I would have said, hmm, that has at least eight years. So. The wood character gives it a really, really mature taste. Mm, not so in the beginning, but in the aftertaste. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It starts off with spicy character, chili catch bit of woody bitterness, great rye character, rye bread. Then it fades out to a bit of a, a sweeter, stickier bourbon character. Mm. Usually it's the other way around. Usually you have the ooh, sweetness, sweetness, and then it fades out to the more refined, deeper, darker, woodier tones. But this one is different. This one's the other way around. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. I like it. I'm not sure if it's because it's bonded, but it's good. It's the old granddad. High rye mash bill. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more, know more about whiskey, then please follow whiskey.com or visit our website. And thank you very much for watching.